My name is Bob Lovely. I'm 56 years old. I've been homeless for five years and been in recovery for two years. Well, I came from a pretty large family. It was an alcoholic kind of family, and I tried quitting a few times here and there, but I wasn't ready for it. It was my seventh impaired driving charge. I hurt somebody in a car accident. When I found out what I did, I was pretty upset with myself. I started thinking stupid thoughts like, committing suicide. I called up uh, the Umbrella Society. So we met up that day. I was amazed on how fast we met up. In total, my recovery was about six months. It took me from the psych wards to uh, treatment centers. In order to keep my recovery going, I go to AA meetings. I attend Life Ring. I'm also involved with Pacifica Housing. I help people move and go in there and clean up. Pacifica Housing deals in the greater community with just working with families in subsidized housing who are experiencing and living in, in poverty. The Streets to Homes program is important because it's an integral piece to the puzzle of addressing homelessness. One day, the uh, worker from Pacifica called me up and said she had two places for me to check out. So I called up the landlord, made an interview with him, and we talked. I was a little bit hesitant, but I told them that Pacifica would guarantee my rent to be paid on time and they would pay for any kind of damages that would happen in my stay here. He accepted my application and I'm so happy. <laughs> if it wasn't for the agencies that the United Way supports, I would not have a home and be able to carry on with my recovery. When you're homeless, you have a hard time reaching out to people because you don't think it's, you're worth it. That's the number one thing, I think. You gotta reach out to people because we've got a community around here that cares. Without the funding um, that we received through United Way, we wouldn't be able to offer the level of support that has made uh, the Streets to Homes program as successful as it is. Through things like outreach workers, being able to get individuals ID, to any other number of, of things that the funding that we receive through United Way uh, allow us to do to support our clients.